There are 19 waterfalls along a 1.5 mile hike at this state park in New York. We started our hike at Watkins Glen State Park by going over this bridge that leads to the Gorge Trail. The Gorge Trail is a mile and a half long with 832 stone steps that bring you up and down all along the gorge. We did make one mistake coming here and that was arriving at 6 p.m. I highly recommend coming earlier, especially if you want to check out the entire trail. Another thing that I didn't realize was that some of the waterfalls go directly over the trail, so some parts are super wet and slippery. I have no idea what I was thinking, but I wore rubber sandals when I came here, so I was slipping and sliding all over the place. I definitely recommend wearing comfortable waterproof sneakers or boots when you come here. As you can see, there are a ton of steps that ascend and descend over 500 feet in elevation on this trail. There is also a southern and Indian trail, so you can walk the same 1.5 mile hike, but you won't go up and down all of these steps. The downside is that you won't be as up close to the waterfalls as you are on the Gorge Trail. And there are so many super cool areas of the Gorge Trail, like this winding cave that brings you down to the most beautiful waterfall. The name of this one is Cavern Cascade, and it was easily my favorite waterfall of the whole trail. It is insane to me just how magnificent this place was. I was in awe the whole entire time I was here. This is one of the waterfalls that I was talking about that gets the trail wet and slippery, so definitely be extra careful in this area. I could not get over the view here though. It is so freaking cool. Alright, so after this we headed back up the cavern and towards Rainbow Falls. The awesome thing about this hike, even though it was super tough for me personally, there were so many awesome areas to just stop and rest and enjoy the nature. The bad thing for us was arriving late, so it made everything more intense because we had a rush to get out of there before it got dark. This is crazy. <laughs> yeah, this is so crazy. <gasps> we finally made it to Rainbow Falls. This was another one of my favorite waterfalls here. And as you can see, it also made the trail very wet and slippery. But I really love this fall. It was so beautiful. I love that it was so close to the trail and it just felt super magical. This is another view of Rainbow Falls. It was one of the best parts of the trail by far. At this point, it was starting to get dark. I know it doesn't really look like it on the video, but it was almost 7 o'clock and it was getting dark quick. And there is no service down there, so I highly recommend taking a screenshot of the Gorge Trail map before you get down there so you can find your way back. And even after what I'm about to say, I do highly recommend this park. Listen, that trail is serious. I read online that it's a moderate trail. That is not a moderate trail. That is a severe trail. <laughs> we got in there at 6. Sunset's at 7. It's 7.15. We didn't even see half of it. And I'm out of breath. Those stairs are serious. <laughs> so, just make sure you know what you're doing when you go on that trail. 